all objects with materials can be a source of light. Let's take this for example, this ball right here. Let's right click on it, assign them new material. Let's go to a surface shader. Surface shaders are nice because they have two properties. One, they do not take on shadows. Two, they can emulate light. Here, under surface shader, I have out color. So the out color can change to be maybe a bright white or maybe even a color. Careful, it's really powerful. So this orange ball now rendered is really bright. But what I can do here is go to surface shader and look at the glow color. Now this is very strong, so just a little skosh will go a long way. Oops, did I just change that? Yep. Okay, there we go. I had to undo. See how now it glows. And if I pop this out, glow. Okay, now in conjunction with each other, I would say that's a pretty powerful concept. Let's say I have this n ball, which could be the nucleus, and this light. Now this light, let's say I take the properties of the light and make it so they do not have any play over the shader whatsoever. Uh, so what I could do is go to light linking, light centric, and turn off the point light to go to the sphere. I do this, even though this is a surface shader, um, it will still block light. So now it will not. I could put this ball on the inside here. I hit V on the keyboard to point snap it. And then I can kind of sink it into the ball. I can do this from the top a little bit easier. So I can kind of put this inside. So now not only do I have a a source of light, I have a volumetric on it also. Yes. And now that is where you're starting to get into the concept of how the light is actually living inside your scene. Because just random lights throughout your scene look, you know, kind of cool. But if you present where the light is coming from, that's even better. All right, so that is how to add um, materials and objects and lights all together to make a source of light. Don't forget, uh, one thing that is true, this will not cast shadows, okay? Let's say I take this object now and go in here to, uh, yeah, the light itself, go to light shape, There we go. And I turn on shadows. Because I've unlight linked it, I will not get that. Okay? But any other object in the scene will have that. So I'm going to just go in here and make a polygon structure and put another ball in the scene. Now this this ball is just here and it's being lit by this object. Okay, notice this. The light is orange. There is no orange here. <laughs> so it gets deeper, the rabbit hole goes deep, deep, oh so deep. So I got the light. Now what I need to do is probably say, well, the light needs to be uh, a different color. It needs to match the color of the bulb. Okay. There we go. Just a hint of color in there will add so much warmth to the scene. And now it matches. All right. So on to the next video where we learn some more concepts about lights.